Hey, what's up you guys? Spencer here, and today we're doing another virtual tour. Today we are in Oglethorpe House, aka O House, and as usual, I have a special guest with me. Hey guys, my name is Jessica, and we're really excited to show you O House today. So, Spencer, um, where is O House in relation to some other spots on campus? Yeah, so O House is also uh, close to the freshman high-rises that are Creswell and Russell. Um, they're and also Brumby. And Brumby. Um, <laughs> if you go up a hill. <laughs> And Brumby. Yeah. Um, but also, if you go down Lumpkin, you can run into Tate, MLC, and Bolton. And also, you are literally, like, you could fall over and land into O House Dining Commons. Um, also, Oglethorpe House, like I said earlier, is also called O House here at EGA. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So right now, we are in the lobby. This is on the first floor. Um, if you enter, basically, from the bus stop or from the parking lot, this is where everybody's going to come in. Um, there's access doors, residents will bring their, bring their guests through here, um, and first we'll walk through, we go for Spencer okay. after you, sir. And we have the 24-hour desk with our awesome pro staff, Steven. Steven, you have a special message for our virtual tour people? Welcome to Low House. Low House and Low House. We're happy to see you. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so that's the 24-hour desk. Typically when the building is open, this is where you would come if you locked yourself out of your room, if you wanted to check out ping pong balls or ping pong paddles, um, or really just if you had any general question. Um, Spencer, tell me about the mail system here in O House. Yeah, so the mail system here in O House, each um, room receives a combination, so you and your roommate will have a little combination to come get your mail, and um, yeah, our OAs take care of it. If you have a package, you can go to the front desk, they'll get you your package, and also you'll, send, you'll get an email about that package. Yeah, so if it's small enough to fit in that mail, it's just going to go directly in the mailbox, but if it's too big to fit in your mailbox, it gets logged into our internal system, and then you receive an email notification letting you know that it's ready to come pick up. Yeah, so. and behind me are the elevators, so O House does have elevators. Yes. Because there are a lot of floors here in O House. There are nine floors, um, not including the basement, so. Yeah, so right now, you can see O House has a really long hallway, and that's basically the, the whole style, so you really got this, like, nice long community hallway that goes all the way up to nine floors. First we're going to start over here in a double with suite style bathroom. Spencer, pop quiz, that's easy to answer. What are the different pieces of furniture that come with these rooms? Yeah, so we have two twin XL um, beds. We also have this giant dresser for roommates to share. Um, and we have these desks, and there's a little pedestal under these desks, if you look. Um, and But they can't be moved. They're not attached to the desk. We just set it up that way. Um, also a trash can. And we have a sink that is outside of the suite, ba the shared bathroom. Um, so the shared bathroom, if you come in here, it is, suite, it is shared with two other roommates. Um, and here is the shower. So pretty standard. Um, you know, you, O House is really great because you don't only have one roommate, you also have, you basically have three uh, roommates because it's a suite style. So. Yeah. Other features that people really like about these rooms is, as you can see, we have big, beautiful windows that are in all of the rooms. They go almost floor to ceiling, so they let in a lot of really great natural light. Um, these closets, you can change out the curtains. These curtains will come with the room, but you can actually change them out to personalize your space a little bit more. And up here, if you can sort of see it, um, there's a lot of space up there for people to put, you know, just things that they might not need to get to immediately. So you can bring storage cubes, you can, you know, put extra shoes up there. Like, you can really customize this space to look and feel however you want it to feel. Right. Yeah, all the furniture is movable. Also, you can bunk the beds here in O House if you want to do that. Yeah, absolutely. So that, if you do bunk the beds, then that'll be something that um, will help you give you a little bit more space. Yeah. All right, so now we are going to go up to the second floor. We're going to take the stairs just because it's a little bit quicker. Um, Spencer, can you tell me a little bit more about what community council is? Yeah, so it's about to be a little loud in here, guys. Sorry about the echo. But community council is um, kind of like a student government, um, not a student government, a student council for your hall. It's a great way to get involved with your hall, meet new people, um, and you just represent the residents that live in your residence hall. Yeah, it's a great way to get student leadership experience right where you live. Um, and even if you're coming in as a freshman, then it's a great way to get leadership experience right in your freshman year. Now we're on the second floor, and we're going to show you guys the second floor elevator lobby. But before we do that, we're going to show you the community kitchen. So, Jessica, tell me what happens in here. Ooh, cookies! <laughs> so, there are community kitchens, even floors, right? Yes. Yes, so there's community kitchens on all the even floors. 
This is a great space for if you're not on a meal plan, you want to be able to cook your own meals, you would come here. Um, if you're the type of person that likes to meet friends over a nice meal, you can make it in here. Um, RAs will sometimes do cooking programs or, I mean, you know what the kitchen's for, but, <laughs> but um, it's open for everybody in the building. So you can come in here. We don't supply any type of utensils or um, like cookie sheets or anything. So if you do plan on using it, you want to make sure that you plan ahead and bring your own stuff. But once you have it, it's a great way to kind of get out of your room, make something really nice, and uh, meet some people. And now we're going to make our way to the elevator lobby. So here in the elevator lobby, a lot of students like to hang out. Some students will study. Um, you know, if you want to hang out but your roommate really doesn't want to, then you guys can come out here and hang out. Um, Beautiful and windows in here. Lots of natural light on both sides. Right. And if you look through that window in front of me, you can actually see into O House Dining Commons. Yeah. So pretty cool feature. So Spencer could be over there eating a breakfast burrito, and I could be in here eating a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like we said, elevators exist in this building. We're going to go down to the basement. That's where a lot of the community space is. And yeah, <laughs> I think that's, that's where my train of thought's going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there's also going to be a, some extra stuff lying around, but just pardon it. We're, um, right now it's maintenance season because it's summer. Um, we don't actually have any residents here in these halls, so that's why. What are these blue things? Yeah, so our eco reps on our community councils this year decided to have in-room recycling bins. And so that's what those are for. And so residents can actually get one from um, their community council eco rep and then have it in their room to throw in, to throw those plastic water bottles and things like that in there and then properly recycle it later. Yeah, absolutely. Right now we're coming up on an innovation space. So an innovation space is sort of like an enclosed study room. Um, it's a really great area for students to come if they want to practice um, a presentation, if they want to work on a group project, or maybe they just need to work on a paper until 3 in the morning and their roommate is sleeping and they can't turn on the light. Um, so it's really, really great. All the furniture you can move around, so you can kind of customize this space however you want. Um, and students really like it. There's also a public computer too, so if you're having some laptop issues, then that is an, also a resource. Yes. Also right here on my right, um, we got the most important part to me, uh, the vending. Um, the, the vending machines actually take paw points, so that's a little um, fun tidbit. And yeah, it's really great to get a late night snack if you don't want to leave the room. Mm -hmm. You can also well, use your credit card or like coins. Right. Well, here is our community space. This is where RAs will host large programs. Um, also, it's where people will have watch parties. So if you're a Bachelor fan, there's been watch parties down here for that. Um, or if you just want to watch the game, you know, you can do that as well. Um, and then to my left, we have the laundry. So the laundry is not coin operated, but you do need to bring your own detergent because that will not be provided. And they have these big folding tables so you can fold your stuff before taking it up to your room. And so if you look over to the left, there are some really good, sturdy study tables. So again, if you're the type of person that likes to have a little bit of like movement and atmosphere around you while you're studying, this is a good place to do it. Um, lots of good outlets. There's also the foosball table and the ping pong table. Like we mentioned earlier, you can check out equipment for those things up at the front desk on the first floor. Um, and yeah, then there's also the Residence Hall Association. So you'll see that circle logo. Um, as we make our way back up to the first floor, the Residence Hall Association, you can kind of think about it as like a student council for all of the residence halls. So each individual community will have their own community council, and then the Residence Hall Association is sort of the governing body above all of those. Um, and they do a lot of different things for the campus community. Um, they have they have a legislative component, so they write legislation to help improve the lives of the residents living in the residence halls, but they also do have a programmatic element. So some of the programs that they've done before are like Scream on the Green, which is where they host a scary movie on the quad, um, or they've done bowling nights. Um, so lots of cool things, just ways for people to get out of their rooms, meet, meet other students, and um, build lasting memories. Yeah, this year they were going to host a Quadchella, but unfortunately, due to everything, it got canceled. But, you know, that's just one of the cool things about RHA. And yeah. it's a great way to just move up in an organization mm -hmm. um, because you can start out as community council and then just move up from there. Mm -hmm. And then by, the, by your senior year, you can be executive. Yeah, and it's cool because RHA is also part of like a bigger system. So there's like 
there's statewide RHA, there's a regional RHA, very similar, and even like an international RHA called McCurr. Um, and it's just a really cool way to get involved at not only the local level, but also at the state, regional, and national level. Similar to like a student government you'd have at your high school. Right. Well, guys, we're back here in the lobby, and that was the O-House tour. Um, Jessica, where can they go to find out more information about O-House? Yeah, so if you go to our housing website, housing.uga.edu, click on that cute little housing tab and scroll down to Oglethorpe House, but you and I both know that it's O-House. <laughs> and then if you click on that page, you'll be able to see floor plans, rates, um, 360 pictures, um, and also some more information about where O-House is in relation to bus stops, dining halls, stuff like that. Right. But you guys have a great day, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, bye. Bye. Go dogs.